Okay guys, welcome back to Nika Soul Palace Recipes. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do beef neck bones in the oven. Now as you can see guys, these are huge. Look at that, that's mostly all meat. So I know they have the pork ones, but these are beef and these are so good. And look at all that meat. So to go ahead and get started, I put a little bit of um, minced garlic across these. And I'm just going to put some seasoning salt You don't have to go heavy with the seasonings because I'm going to be using a couple different ones. And then I plus I want to put some lifted onion soup at the top. Garlic powder. I have some all-purpose seasoning. And these are so good and it's easy it's a very simple easy recipe and some black pepper now go ahead and get that incorporated through flip the side and do the same thing then we're going to go over to the stove and we're going to sear these on each side for about four minutes, three to four minutes. With flour, because we're trying to get some gravy on these. So dredge them in flour and then sear them. And then we're going to put these in the oven. Oh, that's not even hardly any meat on there. Okay, so take the minced garlic, just go across. Now guys, if you have some Worcestershire sauce, add some of that as well. I don't have any, so I'm going to skip that part. But if you have some in your refrigerator or cabinet, go ahead and put some on there. So seasoning salt, because I would have definitely used that if I had some. Garlic powder. And the seasonings are very easy and fair. We're not using too many, but you're gonna get all the flavor that you need. All purpose seasoning. And you know they call this all purpose because you can usually put, you. I'm sorry, you could actually put this on anything. It's just one of those seasonings that work for all meats. I don't use it a lot though. And your black pepper. On your stove, put about a tablespoon and a half of your vegetable oil and a teaspoon of butter. And we're gonna dredge these in some flour and go to the stove. Now, in the meantime, go ahead and chop up an onion and pepper if that's what you're using. I'm not gonna use pepper, but I am gonna chop up an onion and a little bit of celery. So I get that prepared and I'll meet you at the stove. Okay, I'm back. So now you see I'm just putting it in the oil. And that's just about a tablespoon of oil. A little bit of butter. Just dredge the beef neck bones in the flour. And go ahead and add it in. Like I said, this is going to get that gravy. Because I want a lot of gravy in this recipe. So let that go on each side for about three to four minutes. And then we're going to place it in our baking sheet. So when it's time to flip it, I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back and it's been exactly four minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead on and turn these over. So I have to be careful as you can turn in these things. And we're gonna just let that go for the same amount of time. And then I'll bring you guys back when they're all seared up. Like I said, three to four minutes on each side of piece, but I did four. So four minutes on each side, and then put them all in your baking sheet. And I'll be back when it's time to saute the onions and celery. Okay guys, I'm back. And that's just the crumbs and the rust that came from the beef neck bones getting seared. 
And you see all of those crumbs and everything? That's just going to pack everything more with flavor. So right now, I'm just going to put some onions and celery in here. That's it. And we're just going to let that sear for a few minutes and then dump them all into the pan. Now, this is the beef neck bone seared on each side. I just got to get it straightened out because it was a lot. But this is how it looks on each side for the four minutes. So once these vegetables cook up, I am going to put a teaspoon of mixed garlic in here as well. Once this cooks up, I'm going to dump it over and dump some Lipna onion soup mix on top of those beef neck bones. Then I'm going to put some water in and cover it up. I'm going to add some beef stock to it. I have the base. I don't have the liquid. So I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of that to that. And then we're going to cover it with foil and bake it on 350 for, I'll let you guys know, the exact time. Okay guys, I'm back and like I said, this is the results of it searing on each side for four minutes a piece. So now all we're going to do is add the vegetables on top of that, the celery and the onions and I have put a teaspoon of minced garlic, like I told you guys. So just add that on top. Once you get that added on top, then we're just going to put this Lipna Aya soup across it. So get your Lipna Aya soup mix and just put across. And this is fairly almost the whole bag because I need all that additional flavor. Now I'll take some water. We're going to put these in the oven. I have some beef broth. I'm going to add two tablespoons of that in here to this water and just stir it. So this is the beef broth that I'm using. It's the bouillon, but it's just the whole thing the big tub of it. So just put like two big tablespoons and over in in your water and just put it in like that. It's gonna give the neck bones even more flavor. Let me get a little bit more water. Trying to get the water a little more up. Watch out, peppermint. Okay. And that's it, guys. So now just cover it with your foil. Put your oven on 350 degrees. And it's probably going to take uh, two hours maybe, but I'm not all the way for sure. So you know I will let you guys know the exact times, exact measurements, and everything in the description. So I'll be back once these are out of the oven. Okay guys, welcome back. And this is the ending results of the, the beef neck bones. I just took them out the oven and I just want to show you guys, look at this. You see how tender this is? Look at it, you could just go right through it, except for that bone. <laughs> but you see how tender that is? Literally, like, it's just coming apart. And this gravy with that flour we did, that got, I wanted it thick like that. And I had to separate it because I had so many neck bones. Don't you see? 
this smells so good in here. It smells man. You see that? That is coming right off the bone. Guys, please give this recipe a try. It is super delicious. Super, super flavorful. I tasted a little piece of the meat, just a tiny little piece. It's very flavorful. Very, very, very. And that's what we want at the Nika Soul Palace recipes. We want some flavorful food. And once again, thank you guys for coming and watching another recipe. I will make the plate and put in a thumbnail so you guys can see the plate. I'm making cornbread and rice to go with this. But look at, look at this great, look at, oh my God, I can't wait to eat. Look at this guys. If you don't want the gravy this thick, um, what you can do is not flour it up as much as I did. Cause I did over, I made sure I floured it down like it was chicken. You don't have to do that. You can actually lightly coat it. Or you don't even have to use flour at all if you don't want the gravy because you'll have a good neck bone without the flour. But I just wanted some thick extra gravy. That's why I did it this way. But again, guys, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys again with another recipe.